My insurance company cut me a check for one dollar, so I've decided I'm going to go ahead and have that operation. I was going to get my brain augmented to improve cognitive functioning, but I think I'll settle for just a new pair of tits. Hey guys. So uh, between the two of you, who wears the pants? Are oh, you both wear pants? I took my first hit of weed in 1999. Quit paying my rent in 2000. Someone asked me, Ryan, do you shave your balls? I don't want to talk about that with you, Grandma. I wanted to become a porn star, but I became a porn extra instead. I suck less dick, but I get more time off. Thank you. I probably shouldn't talk too much about porn. There's very little that I can say about X Hamster, X Videos, U Porn, Pornhub, DFW, Night.com, or H2 the Team. <laughs> That's having a good time. I was watching my cat lick its ass. I just thought that's so beautiful, you know? <laughs> if I could lick my own ass, probably stop going to therapy. <laughs> my therapist's office is a really awkward place to pick up chicks. The other day she sat down. I said, What brings you here? He said, well, I was gangbanged by the football team. My goldfish died. What about you? I was a cheerleader, too. He said, jokes what I'm doing up here. Well, you're doing good crap. You are an attractive audience. I got to say, I have a real aversion to ugly motherfuckers. Man, they make me nervous. I don't like it. That's as much as I'm going to pander to you. So uh, I go to food banks, and uh, I went to this church for a food bank, and they came to my car, and they said, Sir, would you like us to pray for you? I said, that'd be great, thanks. What would you like us to pray for? I had to think about it. I said, could you pray that I get some pussy before I turn 45? I got two more no-sex jokes. Can I, can I land them on? Okay. So I'm working on a book about my 20s and 30s called Vagina. Working on a book about my 40s. It's called No Vagina. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, this side of the room. <laughs> I got one more. So I went to Aldi and I was standing in line to pay, and there was this right wing guy with long hair in front of me. He says, So, what do you think of the new communist America we live in? I said, Sir, I don't mean any disrespect, but I haven't fucked in four years. I don't really give a shit. <laughs> I went to Starbucks, the cashier said, Sir, are you a black coffee drinker? I said, no, I'm white. I thought it was obvious. I've decided to change careers. I was a male prostitute, that's real talk. But I figured out you could get a lot more sex and a lot more money if I became a preacher. So I made this script. Thank you. Ooh, 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 ooh. So uh, I dropped a tortilla chip on the kitchen floor and it shattered into pieces and I knelt down to get the broken pieces of the tortilla chip and I said, this is familiar, what does this remind me of? And then I remembered, this reminds me of when I used to smoke crack. Lost you with the crack chip, sorry guys. I'll get you back, I'll get you back. So, uh, I, I'm really bad at relationships. My therapist says it's because I had poor role models growing up, but I don't think so. I mean, it's not like my dad was fucking my mom's sister every day. They took breaks. Shit, thank you, thank you. You know, I saw one of those stepmom porn videos, and I saw my stepmom, man. And then I saw myself. I got pissed off. I didn't know she was recording that whole time. Hey guys, you've been good. Thanks. I'm right. <laughs>